Hi, I'm Mike Wilkinson, Chairman of the Primary Exam. And welcome to the first of what will be a series of videos to help candidates prepare for their oral exams. The Primary Examiners are keen to help as much as possible, so we're embarking on this programme to give you and your trainers a better appreciation of the exam structure, and in particular, the aspects of exam performance that examiners are looking for in assessing responses in both SOE and OSCE exams. The first few videos provide four examples of SOE answers. These are real answers taken from recent exams where candidates have scored either a pass or a borderline mark. They're not intended as model answers, but merely short examples of the type of response that would score either mark. Each video will be followed by an explanation by the section head of that SOE highlighting the salient points of each video. As I say, the intention is to give you a better appreciation of what we look for during the exam to aid your preparation. The SOE section builds on the other areas of the exam by exploring understanding of a topic. We will look for an ability to construct logical, coherent arguments to describe basic science principles. Now, clearly, the examiners still expect a sound basic knowledge, but in addition, we'll look for well-reasoned, logical explanations, clarity of thought, and an ability to think through problems by applying basic principles to clinical situations. In order to pass any individual question, candidates would not necessarily be expected to know everything about a topic. Occasional gaps in knowledge may be permitted, but when this is associated with poor understanding, the candidate is more likely to score a borderline or even a fail. Examiners will direct their questioning to explore this combination of knowledge and understanding, and an ability to respond to this is most likely to lead to success, and it's on this that you should focus much of your preparation. So have a look through each sample video, take on board the key learning points from each, and try to build these into your exam preparation schedule. 